Now we will see the first problem in exercise 1.5 of real numbers. Find the value of the following. So there are total 9 problems are there. So we have to find these values. So first one log 5 base 25. Okay, very easily you can solve this and most of the time the students will get confused but without confusion you can solve this. So please watch this video very carefully. So let 5 base 25 is equal to x. Then what is the exponential form? If x is equal to log n base in exponential form a power x is equal to n, right? So, 25 base x is equal to 5. So, what is the if what is the x value? You know, square root of 25 is equal to 5. So, 25 whole power 1 by 2 is 5. So, x is equal to here 1 by 2. You can conclude like this or log 5 base 25 is equal to x now exponential form the base of the logarithm will become base of the exponent is equal to 5 so we can write this 25 as 5 square whole power x a power m whole power n is equal to a power m into n right so 5 power 2x is equal to 5 Bases are equal, and then powers also equal. 2x is equal to 1, then x is equal to 1 by 2. So, in any way, you can solve this problem. So, the main basic concept here we should remember is if we know the logarithmic form, you should able to write exponential form. Okay, next we will see the second one. The second problem is log 3 base 81. Same as first problem. Log 3 base 81. Let it be x. Then what is the exponential form? Log n base a is equal to x. Exponential form a power x is equal to n. 81 power x is equal to 3. So, 81 in terms of 3 we can write as 3 power 4 whole power x is equal to 3. 3 power 4 x is equal to 3 power 1. 3 means 3 power 1. So, here bases are equal then exponents also equal. 4 x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 by 4. Third problem, log 1 by 16 base 2, okay, we want to find this value, let it be x, then, so, x is equal to log n base a means, what is exponential form, a power x is equal to n, so 2 power x is equal to 1 by 16. 2 power x is equal to this 16 in terms of 2. How can we write 2 into 2? 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8 into 2, 16. 2 power 4. 2 power x is equal to 2 power minus 4. Right? So, x is equal to minus 4. Okay? So, 1 by a power n is equal to a power minus n. This is the exponents exponents in exponents you already learned this okay so there are so many shortcuts and tricks but this is the procedure if you know or if you learn the procedure you cannot forget in a short time okay so now fourth one log one base seven i already told with many examples right this log one base a is equal to zero so basing on that formula we can write log 1 base 7 is equal to zero so next fifth one what is our fifth problem log root x base x 
so log root x base x so already x terms are there so let it be y then x power y is equal to root x x power y is equal to square root in terms of power we can write x power 1 by 2 so y is equal to 1 by 2 so this value what is y this value only no? is 1 by 2 next one log phi 12 base 2 okay let it be x then a power x is equal to n so phi 12 in terms of 2 okay i think it's 2 power 9 so 2 power x is equal to 2 power 9 then x is equal to 9 so what is this x this logarithmic value so log phi 12 base 2 is equal to 9 so here the question simple how many times we should rise to to get this phi 12 9 times how many times we should rise to get this root x 1 by 2 times okay next one now we will see seventh one what is seventh one log 0 0.01 base 10 let it be x so exponential form a power x is equal to n 10 power x is equal to 0 0.01 10 power x is equal to we can write this as 1 by 100 right 1 by 100 only now 0 0.01 again 1 by 10 square so 10 power minus 2 so bases are equal means powers also equal so x is equal to minus 2 if there is log 0 0.001 base 10 what is this minus 3 log 0 0.0001 base 10 what is the value 1 2 3 4 5 so it is minus 5 so i think you are you are understanding students so we will see eighth one that is log 8 by 27 base 2 by 3 so the question is how many times we should rise 2 by 3 to get 8 by 27 how many times we should raise 2 2 into 2 4 4 into 2 8 3 times 3 into 3 9 9 into 3 27 so 3 is the answer but just to write the steps we can write as let it be x so then a power x is equal to n 2 by 3 whole power x is equal to 8 by 27 so 8 by 27 we can write as 2 by 3 whole cube so x is equal to 3 just by look at the problem we can we can say the solution and our answer but to write and get marks or scoring marks is important now in the exam for that we should write some steps so for that purpose only we are writing otherwise you you can easily say here how many times 25 must be raised to get 5 square root 1 by 2 here 4 times of 3 is 84 so 1 by 4 here minus 4 that means 1 by 16 is there so here 1 by 2 okay and the last one 2 power 2 plus log 3 base 2 okay so this is in the form of a power m plus n so a power m into n right sorry a power m into a power n so 2 square into 2 power log 3 base 2 2 square 4 and a power log n base a is equal to n here our fifth one a power log n base a so similarly 2 power log 3 base 2 3 so 4 3 is a 
12 okay so in this way you can solve these problems of first roman okay thank you for watching